Can you go ahead and pray in the spirit? The heritage of a young man, the Bible said, is strength. He said, I write unto you, young man, because you are strong. The word of the Lord abides in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Feebleness is not part of a young man's testimony. And one of the ways we gain strength in the spirit is by mounting up with wings like the eagles. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Be intentional about it, like Daddy said. Get on the Yele Levina Hazida Hadakai. Katia Satak. Let the under for a dark. He said he maketh his angels spirits, but his ministers flames of fire. If you are not on fire, you are not a minister. You could be mistaken for a lecturer. What distinguishes you from a teacher, from a lecturer, is the flames that you carry. And it's our testimony as ministers of the new covenant. It's a mystery when we pray in the spirit. It's a mystery. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Listen, brothers and sisters. Our advantage is not necessarily in the depths of our cognition. Knowledge is in different cadres. Spiritual knowledge is in the highest cadre of knowledge. A 10-year-old witch can dwarf a professor. This is why as important as it is to develop the secular dimension, your cerebral dimension, it's more important for you to have spiritual understanding. And if you don't take advantage of the gates available to explore spiritual knowledge, you will miss out in your season. You will not understand why you have done all there is to do, yet things don't work. That's why we engage mystery. The blood of the covenant that we are about to take advantage of, it's a mystery. But if your spiritual senses are not activated, you will approach that thing naturally. And it will not profit you. That's why before you do a spiritual thing, you must ascend in the spirit. You must ascend in the spirit. And one of the ways of getting ascendancy is by prayer. He said, we should mount up with wings. So we are not talking. We are not making sounds. What we are doing is that we are mounting up with wings like the eagle. You will do it over time. You will step out of your mind and you will enter into your spiritual reality. It looks like a joke, but it's a mystery. It's the way of the divine. You want to pray in the Holy Ghost? You will drink this and sickness will leave your body. You won't know how. The doctor will not be able to explain it because it's not given to the natural mind. He said the carnal man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. Neither can he know them. They are spiritually discerned. If you don't discern the blood, it won't amount to anything in your life. This is why we pray. This is why we charge our spirit. We want to step out of our brain and enter into our hearts. Because that's where God dwells. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Kaparate Gebakash. Barakira Paranda Savakira. Bredete de Vakadia de Bosch. Mante Kibara do Sondo. Arianda Tapaki. Barodoton de Fratekira Paradias. Rakima Tekebora. In the name of Jesus. Precious Father, we thank you. We thank you for the privilege of fellowship. We thank you for the privilege of communion. We thank you, Lord, because you've drawn us to yourselves. We would not have taught it. We would not have desired it except as you've drawn us. And Lord, we've come before you again to receive of the resources of your spirit. We ask that you cause us to gain illumination, to gain depth and understanding of the essence of the things that you bring us into fellowship. And Lord, we ask that you help us to make the most of them. That at the end, oh, our lives will count both in time and in eternity. 
eternity. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. In Jesus' precious name. In the precious name of Jesus. You may be seated a few minutes. I just want to share. Just share with us briefly for 10 minutes. And then we'll partake of the communion table. And we'll do the business of the night. We'll do the business of the night. Tonight, yokes will be broken. Seals will be broken. Veils will be lifted. Crisis will be ended. I'm not saying when you go out, right here in this auditorium, things will change by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Matthew 26, 28, just as a way of, uh, of charge, he said, for this is my blood of the New Testament which is shared for you or for many for the remission of sins. Now Jesus sat with his disciples just the way we are sitting. And he took bread, broke it. He gave it to them to eat and he said, the bread he just broke was his body. And then he took the cup. He gave thanks and he gave the cup to them and he said, this cup is the testament of my blood. It is a new covenant that has opened the people of God to a new possibility in, the, in their work with God. When you study the book of Genesis chapter 1, you will understand the intentions of God when he began the project of man. If you don't understand the project of man, you will not appreciate what God has done for us in Christ Jesus. If you don't understand the depravity and the nature of the fall, the impact, the effect, and the import of the fall on man, you will not understand and you will not appreciate the value of the things God is making available to us. The man that God created could not be compared with any creature. That man created had no prototype in existence. It took divinity, depths of wisdom to come about the project of man. Because God had created all things and he looked upon everything he created, it was good. And it's important for us to understand that everything God created in Genesis chapter 1 was actually a recreation project. The first creation that God carried out was in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 only. The secrets and the codes of creation was not made available to the creatures of that time because the first heaven and earth that God created was dominated only by spirits. There were no mortars on the face of the earth as at the time the first creation was carried out. There was war in heaven. There was chaos. There was crisis. And the earth collapsed. So God came back to recreate the visible universe. Everything that happened from Genesis 2 to Genesis 31 was a recreation process of the visible universe. And when God recreated the visible universe, he had displayed every wisdom he, ex he expressed before now. Because the angels knew that everything God created already existed. God just brought back the earth to its original shape because the shape was destroyed on account of the war that took place and the effect it had on the face of the earth. So when God recreated the world, it was not a wonder to the angels because they knew the heavens were there. They knew the suns were there. They knew the moons were there. And if you study Ezekiel 28 from verse 7, when God was talking to the angelic realm, the Bible said when he created the foundations of the earth, the sons of the morning, they sang for joy. So they watched him when he created the first universe. They know that God had the power to call light. They know God had the power to establish the sun. But there was another element that God introduced in the recreation process that the angel had no idea of. It's called the project of man. Because the visible realm, oh yeah, before God created man, God entered back into himself. Because the wisdom for the creation of man was not in the syllabus that was available for the creation. 
The waters were created before. The earth was created before. So the manual for creation was constant. The man project was not part of that manual. The only way God could recreate man was for Elohim to go back into himself. That is why when he wanted to create man, he had to come back to carry out a consultation with the divine. When he said, let us make man, it was a deliberation between the father, the son, and the spirit. We have done all we did before. Now we need to introduce another specimen into the experiment. How do we go about it? The divine needed to come back to the community of the Godhead and the father communed with the son. The son communed with the spirit. The spirit communed with the father. An unending fellowship was activated again and it was in the depth of that fellowship that he said, let us make man. And this species called man will not look like the elephant. This species called man will not look like the angels. Not even the archangels could carry the dimensions that God wanted to create. The dimension God wanted to create was superior to the angelic realm. That was why in Psalm 8, when David entered into the heavens and was hearing whispers of the angelic realm, he said, what is man? What is this creature? How did you come about this creature? Because the dimensions of the man is superior to the angelic ranking. If you look at the angelic realm, you will see the mastery and the architectural masterpiece of God. When you look upon Michael, Michael is a divination of strength. When Michael stands before you, you don't need to understand what strength is. Everything about Michael defines strength. When you look upon Lucifer, the angel of the morning, the wisdom by which Lucifer was corrupted was beyond human intelligence. Because the Bible said, you were covered with ten precious stones. Diamond, Jasper, Kobunku, Sapphire. Every precious stone was his covering. So when Lucifer turns, you see diamond. When he turns, you see gold. When he turns, you see buried. When he turns, you see onyx. You can't explain the beauty and the mastery that went into the design of the angelic realm. Yet, when God wanted to create man, the angelic realm was dwarfed. The beauty that he decked the angelic realm was not sufficient to give expression to this new project. When Lucifer showed up, the sun went in. It was called the light bearer. When he shows up, the sun in his strength went in. If you study Revelation 19, you see an angel stood on the sun and he dwarfed the sun. There are angels that are brighter than the sun. Yet, the beauty of the angelic realm was dwarfed when the project of man was brought forward. So the Elohim went back into himself and he said, let us make man. Let us make man. And because there was no material with which man could be created, God had to enter into himself. And the word create is the word para. So God fetched from within himself. So what God did was that, like a Moeba, God divided into two. For the first time, divinity divided and he took one portion of God from God and he held that portion. And what he did with that portion was that he took the dust and he hid God in dust. So the God that was hid in dust was called man. So man is God in dust. Such was the ranking of Adam. So when Adam stood up, Adam did not need a lecturer. Adam looked upon the lion. He said, you are a lion. And God went back into his archive. And when he checked, when Adam said lion, lion means lion in eternity. God wanted to test the quality of this being. And God caused the man to sleep and took his rib and made woman. And God says she's woman. And when the man stood up from sleep without fasting and prayer, he said, you shall be called woman because you were taken out of man. Even when the man is sleeping, he knows. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh. 
it makes you become invincible it makes you become an impregnable fortress for the devil because this is where the claims of divine justice was met so anybody that understands the blood becomes a champion in life so when we are drinking the blood we are affirming our forgiveness we are affirming our victory we are affirming our overcomers dimension this is one of the insurance system that we have in the kingdom and jesus said as often as you do this as often as you do this, as often as you do this what you do is that you bring back the dimension of the finished works of christ it's like proclaiming his death it's like affirming that the price was paid the claims of divine justice was met it's like rubbing it off in the eyes of the devil again that you failed every attempt you wanted to make on my life and destiny you failed that's what the blood stands for it is your weapon of defense it's your weapon of victory and it's your greatest advantage so when you come before the blood you are not carrying out a church activity this is not a religious activity this is a portal a portal into the realms invincible a portal into the realms divine a portal into dimensions that are heavenly the things that are our advantage they are deeper than reason when we do it the princes of this world don't know we just confound them and then suddenly by the mystery of the blood somebody goes and shoots an arrow against you and everything every ritual was carried out when they shot the arrow they come back the next day the arrow met target but when they came back the next day you were supposed to be swelling but the next day you are wearing a suit and they say what happened that you say the light shines in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the darkness is permitted to be there but the darkness is what makes the light shine everything they did it for 50 people it worked until they did it for you and they came and buried the child in front of your block of your office but you have taken the blood so your flesh has become the flesh of christ hope you know that the body of jesus was divine as you take the blood you proclaim his death so by implication you are a dead man and the life you live is no longer you that live but it's christ that lived through you so they can put the jam in front of your door you didn't jump you matched it and then you walk and they say what happened you say the light shines in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not who are you i am an overcomer because who is it that overcometh the world him that believeth that jesus is the son of god this is him that overcometh the world they say it's not working for everybody it's not working for everybody hey not me i don't know who everybody is my name is Oropo michael and i am in communion with christ i am in communion with christ i don't know what others did but me i understand the mystery of the blood i know the mystery of the cross i know the power of the resurrection and if god be for me who can be against me who can even if the whole horrors of ages were unleashed against me it's an opportunity for me to shine the platform of a witness is not the puppet the platform of a witness are the crisis of life that's what we shine on because the light shines in the darkness this is one of the mysteries that makes our insurance in life and as we take the blood now sicknesses will leave your body you know why because when you take the blood you are enforcing the powers of communion in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration that means god mingles into man and man mingles into god and whatever cannot affect god cannot affect you that's what it does for you 
So as you take it, cancer dies, diabetes dies. Everything that cannot survive on Jesus ceases to survive on your life. And just in case there is a crisis, as you are taking it, you say they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testament. Therefore, my admission is granted. My contract is approved. Everything that pertains to me work because the part of the jaws is as a shiny light. It shines brighter and brighter. We never know a better yesterday. The mysteries. The mysteries. A mystery is what you cannot understand, yet is true. You can't understand it, yet is true. You can't prove it, yet it has undeniable evidences. That's a mystery. You can't understand it, but it's true. You can't prove it, but it has undeniable evidences. The doctor may tell you, you will never be able to live normally again. That's a scientific fact. When you take the blood, you can't explain how, but the results will change. of the world we are stepping out of the divide of time into the realms of eternity this is what it means when the high priest carries the blood into the holy of holies what it does is that he enters through the veil what is happening is entering into before the foundation of the world because when the shekinah comes down the testimony of the Shekinah is that which happened before the foundation of the world. When we take the blood, we are entering into a dimension called before the foundation of the world. So there is no cause that can survive the blood. It doesn't matter if it existed in your bloodline for five generations. When you take the blood, you enter into a dimension called before the foundation of the world. Because that's when the lamb was slain. Kadeva Do you see why we pray in the Holy Ghost? Because what we do is beyond human comprehension. There are mysteries in God. There are mysteries in God. This is what the fathers of old knew. Ka, Shadakaya. Eberania Teveke, Asoze, Sazia, Emuradia, Ebebenia, Takina, Aragadega, Sadara. David understood this mystery. And for 38 years, the Shakaina and the secret place was open. So David fought 44 battles. He couldn't fail. He couldn't. He couldn't because the whole forces of heaven they march in the direction of this Lord. The Bible said the 20 and 4 elders they fell on their faces and they cried and they sang a new song and they gave glory to the Lamb in Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. And they said, The prayers of the saints it ascend to heaven as others and is stored up in golden fires because the prayers of the saints is consistent with the testimony of the Lord. The powers of heaven can pack you up if you know this mystery. Carry a Pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute. We are about to enter a mystery. Is 
as bold as a lion because we are not fighting to win we are fighting from victory that's why jesus said straight upon scorpions and serpent we are not running from the devil the devil is running from us because we are fighting from victory that's why we are bold because having disarmed principalities and powers he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them by the cross and it was on the strength of that victory he said going to all the world we are not running trying to be safe we are the safety of the world we are not trying to be safe we are the safety of this world that's why I say you are the light of the world a city set upon the hill that cannot be healed you are the salt of the earth I refuse to be a victim I cannot be a victim I am not trying to be saved I am the safety of the world most times most times when I want to pray I can't as I lift my voice I say thank you Jesus because what am I praying about thank you Jesus the crisis that I should be praying for I just break bread and I say thank you father I take a wine put in the cup and I give thanks and it becomes blood I drink it now ah, what am I praying for every time I pray I'm full of thanksgiving that's why I say giving thanks to the father who has made us meet to become partakers of the inheritance in light having translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son in light we are more than conquerors we are more than conquerors that's who you are by the blood you want to walk into your victory effortlessly Shadia Ferekadi, it is a turning attacker. In our day, they get it together. It is a dark, dear, 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 doctors call the name of your affliction they may call it cancer they may call it diabetes they may call it hepatitis they may call it HIV but there's a superior testimony is the testimony of the blood listen he said and they overcame him by what by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony we want to release the words of our testimony now now you are going to begin to make declaration every affliction in my body every affliction in my family in the name of the Lord Jesus I command you get out and begin to pray begin to pray we command every affliction to get out in my body in my family out pray like somebody that have received your last card you don't have any other alternative this is the only alternative you are warring in the spirit now don't be casual fight fight in the spirit in the name of Jesus Amen. we have to pray with understanding listen you are not talking to God about the problem he said say to this mountain be thou removed be thou cast out and if you doubt not in your heart you will have whatsoever you say you are fighting that mountain out of your life now so you are dealing with the matter you are confronting the matter it has stayed for too long he said weeping may endure for the night joy comes in the morning you have approached marriageable age you are not yet married tell yourself i marry now 
and then deal with the matter. Can you go ahead and pray the Holy Ghost?
the hand, the, 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 the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you. The power of the highest will overshadow you. That thing, the power of God is already moving. That thing that will be formed in you shall be called the sword. So what favor does is that it provokes a move of the spirit. And if there's anything you need for emancipation in life, is the move of the spirit. The second thing favor does is that it makes for wealth transfer. He said, and God gave favor to the Israelites and they spoiled the Egyptian. He said, even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The third thing favor does is that he makes men to serve you. He commands the allegiance of men. How do you think one million men are serving one man? It's an investment of favor. He said, and daily men join themselves to David until his host became like the host of God. The favor of God is about to rain down. Lift your hands toward heaven. Shabakete parakada. Elegadebe. Ejechajani dakava. Eredekavaya. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift my hand over your people. I command every pending affliction, every pain and every crisis that have bedeviled them right now. In the name of Jesus, the risen Christ, let every affliction end Amen. now. Amen. I command sicknesses, get out of their bodies. Amen. I command pains, go. Amen. Afflictions, end. Amen. Crisis, end. Amen. I break the spell of stagnation. Amen. I break the spell of poverty. Amen. I break the spell of reproach. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, I ask that the favor of heaven begin to rest on you. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Holy Ghost, breathe upon them. Begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, breathe upon them. As I'm led, I'm a minister to people individually. Holy Ghost, brood upon them. Oh God, yeah. Empress the belly. Yapa pass the purple. Empress the purple. Empress the pesa. Yapa pose. Etwa ligue parasa kando. Isha baka tua. Elegate tua rasa baka. Empress the belly trego. Oblopo rake masaido. Empress the tonight. Etike na kasi pua. Opela. Shabato Alisa, Etwa Tete Sitako, Bakatena Clio, Etete Setetana, Iparakosa Gariato, Epresali, Eswate Tessidia, Ailo, Iato, Toto, Etete Aleka, Cosus of the Night, Etecadia, 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 Peretoyo, Lepetoyo, Zapatoyo, Seketoyo, Eteteyo, Atale Lahoa, Atua, 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 Paratiate, Eter Kuzakata, Elegediato, Paparasisa, Saya, Lift your hands toward heaven. Lift your hands. Lift your hands toward heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit. of God is still resting on people. Some of you will live here, you will become men and women of prayer. It's by the hand of God. If you can't just be quiet for a moment, just lower the keyboard. There's still a weight of glory about to fall on few people here. I've seen three of you that are carriers of the presence. Carriers 
of the present. There is an ordination of that dimension. As you live here, the presence will begin to travel with you. Just lift your hands. Father, 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 the carriers, carriers of the present, carriers of the present, touch them. I bring you into that ordination. I bring you into that ordination. Take, take, carriers, carriers of the present. I'm seeing somebody by the right hand of this building. You are a prophet. But the prophetic words have been choked. But as I speak now, receive your trumpet. Receive your trumpet. I activate you. Enter. 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 There's somebody who came into this hall. Listen, please. You came into this hall with excruciating pain on your lower back. It's even, as at the time you came here, it was already threatening your movement, your mobility. Who is the person? Excruciating pain, your lower back. Somebody like that, you've just, you've been healed. Can you wave at me quickly? Somebody with, are you the one? Come. Is the pain still there? Excruciating pain on your lower back. It has threatened your mobility. Is the pain gone? The pain is gone. How about the sister? Check, check, the pain is gone. There's somebody you have a tumor, a little tumor began to grow in your left breast or so. And you, you were afraid. You were afraid because you didn't know what it was. You can go outside and check quickly. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I'm praying for everybody connecting to us online and on the internet. I command sicknesses to leave you. I command chains to break. And everything God has released upon them in this auditorium, receive the same measure right where you are. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Most of you with blood conditions. Blood conditions. Relating to your liver, your blood. You will go and check and discover you've been cleansed. You will see it that you have been cleansed. Somebody has an infection in the private part that results in terrific itching. It's not something I want to call you out for. But you've been healed. You will live here and discover you've been healed. Diverse things happening. Diverse things. Pains leaving people. Somebody I'm seeing you, you are wearing something like a white shirt. The white, you had this pain on your ear. I don't know if it's the right ear. There's pain on your right ear. Are you the one, mama? Come. The pain is gone, right? Yes, that's, that's, that's who I saw. You wearing a white shirt or something. Pain on your right ear, it's gone. Is the pain gone? The pain is gone. Glory to God. There are many people who have been healed. You have been healed. You have been cleansed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lift your hand and give God thanks. Lift your hand and give God thanks. Lift your hand. Give the Lord thanks. Many blood issues. As I'm speaking now, there's somebody with heart, a heart palpitation. And there is, there is this sensation you feel like pepperish sensation and choking breath of some sort. You have just been healed. It has to do with your heart palpitation. Who is the person? Heart palpitation and then you have this pepperish sensation in your throat. Can you wave at me? Let me just know if the person is in the building. You are the one. Glory to God. Many people have received diverse healings. Just lift your hands and give God thanks. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over my life, over my life. Ah, my voice, help me, help me. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Oh, let all you be seen. Let all you be seen. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over my life, oh Yahweh. You don't know the key. Let all you be seen. Let all you be seen. Yahweh, you will 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 be seen. Over my life, oh Yahweh. 
message you just listened to and wish to make Jesus your Lord and personal Savior. Kindly repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, and that he died for my sins and was raised from the dead for my justification. I therefore confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. If you just say this prayer, please send us an email on amodiscipleship at gmail.com or reach us on our website, orocomichael.com to enable us to reach you and afford us the privilege to disciple you. God bless you.